Hello everybody, the morning Pandy here and welcome back to another episode of my let's play for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we continued on with doing more side quest stuff and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to this other stable that I apparently missed when I was doing this before, like going through all the other stables. I just apparently forgot about this one, so let's check out this Whoa. empty frame. Oh. Uh, the best place to see it is wait. Uh, when it's when it's clear out, which granted is in other, uh, often around these parts, you can get a view, beautiful view of, of Floria Falls. Best pla best place to see it is is Floria Bridge outside the stable. When the view from there being make a nice painting. Mm. Problem is, I can't leave the stable unattended, even even if I could. It's rare that the weather cl is clear enough. Maybe there's some other way to get a panoramic view of Floria Falls on a clear day. Someone brought me a picture. For instance, then I'd be able to paint a copy and hang that up in the frame. Picture for Lakeside Stable. So I gotta figure out how to do this. Okay, so it, it, it does seem like we're on the right sp spot of like the weather to be able to take this picture. So let's head over here on this bridge. And that's what we need to take a picture of. Uh, or I think maybe so yeah I'm gonna have to keep resting at the stable until I actually get the right weather for this picture so give me a second okay I think we're at the right weather now so it only took me a couple times for me to rest. Let's head over here. And now it should work. So we just need to head back to the stable and give him the picture. Like this one? <gasps> How do you bring me a picture of Flory Falls on a clear day? Can I see it? There you go. Oh. This is exactly the picture I asked for. So this would really liven up to look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. All the fall was really pack a punch. No matter how many times I see them, I'm always moved by beyond words. A picture make, will make travelers glad they made the long, slippery trip to Farron. I'll just give you a moment to whip up a, a reproduction, okay? I knew it. it's perfect for the stable. And it's all thanks to you, Link. Hey. Sunny, isn't it? I said, if you ever wanted me to hang on a different picture of the Florida Falls on a clear day, I'll be happy to oblige. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Tough tomato seafood. Tomato seafood soup. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. And our quest is done, so now I gotta find another one real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the next quest that we want to do is over at Lurlin Village, so let's head over to this shrine. Okay, now we're here. We want to go over here, and there should be a kid somewhere that we need to look for. Yeah, right here. Ah. Hey, it's a guy who fixed up our house. Oh. After the pirates tore down our house, we had to go live in a tent. It was actually kind of fun, like having a secret base. But I'm w way happier now that we're back home. Yeah. You no, know, mister, everyone's calling you you the savior of our village. Thank you. Thanks for pulling me everything back how it what used to be. Sorry, mister, you can't play right now. I gotta find my dad's blue shirt. Blue shirt. Uh, 
It's his favorite thing. He loves it so much, he puts it in his iron chest so nobody takes it. I put a chest everywhere, and I couldn't find the chest. I think those pirates taken. Pirates taken, so, so it's probably in the bay. So, so this is too heavy to float away. Ah. That's pretending it like he does, doesn't mind, but I bet he's really excited it's gone. I gotta get it back. That rain won't stop me. We got Dad's blue shirt. We're gonna have to find this somewhere. There is a chest here, but I doubt it would be that easy. Oh. Yeah, it's a blue ruby. I guess there's another quest after that once we're done with this. So I want to go ahead and bring out a fan. And place it on here. And bring it out on the water. And I think it's that over there. So here it is. To open it. Yep. Here we go. It's an Ireland lobster shirt. Now he's got to give it to that kid. Here you go. Aww. So heavy, it's uh, that's pretty like it doesn't mind. But he's really sad it's gone. I gotta get it back. Uh -huh. How you smell? Smell like my dad, Mister. Maybe you, did you find my dad's blue shirt? Here you go. <laughs> the color that smell that stinks in, in sticks in my nose. There's no mistaking it. This is Dad's blue shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. I gotta go tell my dad. Hey, Dad. This guy found your shirt, Dad. What? Smells like you. He. Ooh. That's what you were do to do you were doing on the beach all day, looking for this. I thought you were out playing. Gosh, thank you, thanks for finding this, guys. Ooh. And you sa saving the village is finding lost items. What can can you do? My trust G blue shirt. When I was a young man, I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't put it on since the boys' mom started picking out my clothes. It seems a shame to keep that beauty in a moldy old chest, though. Say, would you want it? Now we're keeping what? it. But, but Dad, you, weren't you sad about your shirt? Oh. Well, yeah, the only one I'm, uh, I'm wearing, I was eating soup and I got a big stain on it. I thought I, it was ruined. Ooh. But when Mommy got rid of the stain, so it's good as new. <laughs> so all this time we were worried about the wrong shirt? Oh. Wrong shirt, wrong shirt. <laughs> Afraid so, kiddo. But I'm grateful you did all that for your old man. Honestly, I can't believe how fast you two are growing up. <laughs> you make your dad proud, you know that? Very, very proud. Okay, so this quest was done. That was a very easy one, but I do, did see another one here that we can start right away. Just have to talk to this old man here. Hi. Hey, now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal, Bolson, again, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world. Yeah, funny thing is, I was just talking to Mary about creating some kind of new attraction in Lurlin. Mm. I said, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Mm. Travel all over the place for Avenue. you. Any, any marvelous ideas you care about to share? Uh, open a floating hotel? Mo oh my, how romantic! We're already here at Avenue. We need to offer some kind of entertainment that doesn't already exist here in the village. Offer underwater tours? Tours? Mm. I like it. it. Sounds dreamy. Oh. It sounds nice, but yes, but breathing would be a problem. Still, some kind of water related entertainment would be nice. Host a water rally? Uh -huh. Host a rally race on the water? Clever. Very clever, don't you think? Oh. Well, it would be a brand new form of water related amusement. <laughs> that could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inventing some hotshot professional racers to d help develop some new vehicles. 
if we could work with them. Hudson, you mean the fellow from the Terrytown place in northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work here. They're, though I do wonder if the real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. The Lurlin Resort Project. So we gotta go over all the way to Lurlin. So let's fast travel, I guess, over to this Skyview Tower. Hey, now let's just fly all the way over to that yellow dot. I assume we're going to have to like partake in this race. So we need to talk to you, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for coming. The one thing I wanted to talk to you about is, well, what we see. Operating expenses for the Terrytown races are a bit tight. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, ah. we're now getting to charge an entry fee of 10 rupees per, per run. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling even, even. Yes, no, sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is difficult to announce what to make. And I can see that giving it a cherry spin did not help. Ooh. But still, we have the ex expert course, course, which I believe is worth trying even if you do have to pay a fee. Of course, I'll reward you if we're able to get a good, good data. So I'm more confident the experience will be well worth the 10 rupees. Oh. Uh, wait, are you not the person oh. to talk to? Uh, wait. Okay, so I guess this isn't the person that we need to talk to. We just have to look around. Uh... Maybe over here? Okay, so I guess you do have to play these mini-games a few more times. Once you reach the vehicle you, pl you plan to use in the race, go ahead and, and detach the steering stick we, we prepared. Ah. Hey. <laughs> ah. Oh. Okay, so I guess we have to make the vehicle. So... Okay, so I think you have, we have to go over here instead of auto-building. So yeah, we can just... Attach this... On... To here. And then... <laughs> Is here and then put the steering stick is your vehicle ready yeah the expert course Let me just go over the rules. The The time to breathe be the, on, the, on the expert course is three minutes. If you touch each and every light and, and right back here, here before, before the time runs out, you win. So below, don't let go of the steering stick once you've grabbed it. And don't go too far off course. Now, on your marks. Go! Oh, wait, crap. Ugh. Oh. 
Help! Okay, uh... Like this. <laughs> if I can place a steering stick now, it will work. I didn't want to do that. Ugh. I want to do the expert course. Okay, I think I figured out how to make yeah. this uh, work here. Let's do the expert course. Uh. You have the steering stick attached to the smaller, to the bottom part of this thing. Are you serious? Uh. Okay, finally I got it to work or not. Okay, I don't know why I was trying to use that one vehicle type thing to work, get to work because it clearly wasn't and I was wasting my time doing that, but I just did something that I'm sure is going to work this time. Uh. I just added two extra oh. wheel, big wheels to this big slab here okay let's go now this is working I'm pretty sure I already did this but I think I have to do this in order to get the, the person that I need to talk to to appear issue is I don't have too many recharge battery recharges Um, I do actually have a few. Now let's start heading all the way to the end. They give us way more than enough time for this. Not missing any other light. Like, am I? I think we're good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now this person's here. So let's talk to you. Saba saba. What a busy day today was. That was impressive. You're very skilled. The expert course was difficult, even for me. I, I didn't even expect you to, you to complete it and beat every any, my time so easily. Oh. There's a lot I can learn from studying your technique. And as long as you're here, surely the research can continue without issue. Sh Shabon and I should be free to leave. I must continue to refine my technique. Mm. Should I reevaluate re how to, to, I train my body? Or do I need to reconsider how I plan, plan my run on a course? I want to talk to you. Oh, hey. 
Okay. Hold on, don't go leaving me out of this conversation. <laughs> Some Something you want to ask? What's this all about? This isn't the place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? Uh... I see, so it's a race that takes place on the water. Right there off the Luralin village shore. But racing on the ocean, I don't know. Sounds difficult. Maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No, this, that is not true, Shabon. Racing in a place like where there are no roads, racing on the ocean. No, it is not impossible. Oh. The possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. Well, Talia, we are all fired up. But I don't really know what to do here. If we just up and leave this destruction of the site, we'll be leaving f Furnace in, in the lurch. Uh -huh. I'll be just, be just fine. I was able to get the data I needed thanks to the both of you. And this one here, too. <laughs> so help him out. Don't, don't worry about me. Building a race course on the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want you to miss out. So I don't, if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the water ferrying vehicles? Boy. That's ki kind of for Stark, so... I'll be willing to bet you'll need lots of equipment to get the other water rally up and running. So please take any zone 9 devices or building materials you think you'll need from here. Ah! So, so you know what, this project has started. I, I was sure we got in the bad end of the bargain. But now this was fun. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. Thank you. I thank you. Ah. No, thank you. Things are quieter around here now. I'm glad I sent them off with the smile, but the truth is, I'd still like to get more data. And now we're done with that part. Now we just head back to Luralin Village. Here we are. Here. Uh, oh, wait, crap. Uh, I need to go all the way over here. Here we are. Oh. I see using the surface of the water like that. Incredible. <laughs> Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. <laughs> You've got this no problem. Isn't that right, Tally? Oh. Yes, yeah, so I use the village boats. Even the children should be able to, to enjoy it. Hmm. Oh. As it, uh, this isn't our savior. I understand we have you to thank for inviting these two. Hi. Good thing too. Now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Oh. Leave it to us. Oh. It's been a while since I had a big project. I can't wait to show you what I can do. But first, I gotta get my noggin in the building zone. Okay, yes, that's it. Shucky. And now I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh -huh. some, of my, some of my finest works. Yes, exciting. Yeah. Well, you look at that, it's perfect for us. It's even more incredible than I imagined it would be. That this pla place, the Lonely Village, is sure to be even more prosperous. Ah. I was already so grateful to you, to you for driving out the pirates and rebuilding the village. I never expected you'd do so much more for us. As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Thank you. We are filled with gratitude for you. Now, since you saved our village, there is no fee for you to use this course. Please enjoy it any time you like. Oh. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name this event the Savior's oh. Race. Oh, eh? Oh. What? You gotta be kidding! How about something classy like, uh, I don't know, the Laurelin Water Alley? Uh. Go, go giving out some weird name to the rally we helped with. Mm. Laurelin Water wa 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 Rally is better. Mm. Well then, L the Laurelin Water Rally it is. Mm. Now if you want to give this Laurelin Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, come talk to me anytime. Uh. The course is all washed in balsam charm, and I can't wait for uh. you to try it. Look lively everyone, time to get to our, to our stations. Okay, and this quest is now done, and I'm not sure if actually doing that counts as another side quest, does it? So, I, I don't think it does. So, I gotta find another side quest to do real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the next side quest that we can do is we need to head over close to Kakariko uh, Village. 
Uh, yeah, up here is where we need to go. So I'm going to fast travel to this shrine and I'll meet you guys when I get closer to that area. Okay, so we're, we're a bit closer to where we need to be. And there's a well down here. Yeah, there's this well. And, uh, wait. Crap. Um... Whoop! Sorry, do this quest! Oh! Welcome to Ma's Hideaway Restaurant. Welcome to the ultimate dish. Should this be an official <laughs> open? But, uh... Okay, so we haven't done this quest, so we need to do the ultimate dishes. Basically, we just need to cook anything that doesn't really, won't really work as a dish. So, like, if we hold this, basically anything, really. And this, and... Wait. Oh, I guess I have to cook somewhere else. Uh, like, where exactly? I'll go back here real quick. Okay, so I cooked uh, dubious food by holding one of these and then so holding something else like this. And I got this here, the dubious food. So I'm going to meet you guys back to where this place was real quick. Okay, now we're back here again. So we have our dubious food that we need to... Ah. Give to her. Here's a bad one. Oh. Or let me see this culinary disaster. <laughs> what happened here? What, what, what did you have to do to make such a thing? What do those ingredients do to deserve this? <sighs> uh, sorry about that. This is such a spectacular canvas that I couldn't help myself. Anyhow, it's so dangerous to leave this be. I'll cook it, cook it, pound it, and make it ultimate. For your first time, so you get a discount. Let's call it five rupees. Sound reasonable. Let's get to work. Well, crack up the heat. Crop, chop it, found it, steam it, throw it in a, throw it in a high roll bass, boil it, cook it, cook it and at that raw meat. Now just a pinch of the secret extract and done. Prepare to be amazed. <sighs> Gee, that was tough. And now the ultimate dish. Behold. We got monster stew. Ah. Eat it up before it gets cold. This is extract is I'm unstoppable. It's totally worth it, the trip in that town to the, in the northeast. And now this quest is done, so now I gotta find another one. Okay, for the, so where we wanna go for this next side quest is this isn't actually where the quest start side quest starts, but I wanna go over here first just to get it out of the way. So we're gonna need to fast travel to this shrine here. Yeah, I had to si uh, send all the way up because the shrine was down below, so we're going to want to glide across to, to that spot that I mentioned. It's over here. It should be down here. Yeah, here's a chest. Then we're gonna get a Zora spear. And then we're gonna go back to, to or to Zora's domain. 
And we're actually going to end this episode off now and continue the quest later. So if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play 4. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.